Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and this is my card for this week's Color Throwdown Challenge, which as of filming this and doing the voiceover, I am ahead of the game. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I started off with um, some die cut cardstock. I used one of Simon Says Basic Circles to die cut some um, Desert Storm cardstock from Nina, and then I used an MFT Scallop Circle to die cut some vellum. And then I'm using stamps from the Simon Says Coffee and Tea stamp set. This was part of their February 2017 card kit, which is completely sold out. The stamp set on everything I'm using is available separately, though. And stay tuned to the end because there's a little um, announcement about a giveaway. So I've got my vellum here, my vellum die cut circle, and I just lined up the stamps I wanted to use on the circle. And then I'm planning on using these Doodlebug um, Latte Love shape sprinkles that are so so cute. They are so cute. So I made sure to space my stamps far enough apart so I can use the little shapes in the center. And then I treated the vellum with my anti-static powder tool and then I coated, I stamped the sentiment in those hearts with Simon Says Clear Embossing Ink and then I coated it with Detail White Embossing Powder and then melted that with my heat tool. So once that was done, I was kind of fiddling around and figuring out what pattern papers I wanted to use because I'm following the color challenge which for this week it's basically it's like aqua kind of an aqua blue or a light blue a minty green and a light pink which is like very valentiney I love it but um yeah so I started off with I was going to use a little teacup and this little coffee mug shape sprinkle and then I decided I wanted to add that little um sugar image as well. So I put the sugar image flat first and then the two little mugs I just used um, dimensionals to pop those up. These are all self-adhesive but I just used dimensionals so they'd pop up a little bit just to give it a little extra dimension. And then I also added the little tea bag and they've all got little happy faces like I could go on and on. You guys all know I, I adore Doodlebug. So I changed my mind over what background paper I wanted to use and I decided to use just this um, pink kind of grid paper that all the papers are from the Doodlebug Cream and Sugar 6x6 pack. So I trimmed that down first. My plan is to make a square card. So I trimmed that down and then I have some Simon Says, this is their mint cardstock. So I trimmed that to slightly bigger than the pattern paper. The pattern paper I trimmed to four inches square. So this I trimmed to like four and an eighth inches square just to give it that little bit of border to bring in that kind of minty green. And then there's this cute little blue paper in the pack that has little blue hearts on it. So I just trimmed a strip of that down so that I could stick that across the middle of the card. This card actually just came together so quickly using these little enamel dots. Like there was no coloring involved, no cutting, not, you know, it's just simple. So, and so cute. <laughs> So anywho, I adhered all of my layers together, I adhered the pattern paper to the cardstock and then adhered that strip of pattern paper to the rest of it and then the um, little vellum piece to adhere that to the Desert Storm. Before I did that, I quickly just took a Copic marker and I just used RV, I think, 04. And I colored on the back side of this vellum just to deepen and like give them a little bit of pink. I just thought that would look really, really cute. So I did that first and then to adhere that to the die cut um, Desert Storm cardstock, um, cardstock, I just used my multimedia matte adhesive and I made sure to apply it behind all the little enamel characters. And then I added tiny little dots to the thickest areas of the sentiment because I didn't want the um, adhesive to ooze out at all so that you would end up seeing it through the vellum, which I really don't like. So I just added tiny, tiny little dots of that and then centered that onto the circle and then press that down until it was adhered. So then once I had that all adhered, I just used more little foam dimensionals to pop this onto my card front. So just flip that over, applied several of these around the perimeter of the Desert Storm cardstock circle and then pop those onto my card front. And then I went on to my card base, which was some Simon Says 120 pounds smooth white cardstock that I had cut to four and a quarter by eight and a half. So then I'm scoring it up four and a quarter. So it will be a top folding four and a quarter inch square card. So score that with my Teflon bone folder and then press down um, the crease really well with the bone folder. And then I can adhere the card front again, just flat to the um, card base with my ATG adhesive. 
So once I've got all that adhered for the inside of the card, I'm using a sentiment from that same coffee and tea stamp set. And I am inking it up with some Simon Says Surf Blue ink. So I pulled that out. It was the closest cut kind of ink color I had to the sort of blue shade of the pattern paper. So I stamped that on the inside of the card and then I added some more of those enamel little shapes. Normally I wouldn't. One, I don't like making the insides of my cards too bulky, but I actually have a second pack of these enamel shapes and I might even, I might even have ordered a third. I'm not even sure, but they're so cute. <laughs> so I adhered the little coffee pot and the cup because it just went so well with the sentiment because the sentiment says so with enough coffee, anything is possible. So added that and a couple of little um, coffee bean enamels and the little um, sugar cube enamel. And then once that was all done, as a final bit of embellishment, I added some um, Tonic Nouveau crystal drops in gloss white and that finished off my card. So I will have links below the video to my blog post with links to the color challenge, the supplies used, all that info will be in the description box below, as well as make sure you go to my blog post because I will be giving away the February Simon Says card kit that has the stamp set, the papers, everything. I bought a second one for a giveaway and I'm giving it away on my blog. So make sure you go check that out if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate the support and I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye.